Well, hello and welcome back guys to uh, episode 5 of my Day to Keep Caption vlog series and uh, you probably already guessed it, we're back on Trent View in Nottingham and uh, we're here for a 48 hour session this time and I'm absolutely buzzing to be out man, we've got a proper good weather front in um, a lot of cloud cover, a lot of rain um, and some strong winds and uh, it's been ever so cold recently, we've just come into it's, it's coming into October now so it's, it's getting into autumn time um, that switch is in full motion, all the all the colours and that are changing on the trees. So hopefully in this episode we can we can manage to bag one of these bangers out of here. Uh, now due to the weather being so cold, I ain't got a rod out as yet. But what I'm going to do is sp spend just a little bit more time in finding a clear spot. I've got the bait boat with me, and what I'm going to do is drop all the rods uh, this session just with the boat, little bits of bait, set some traps, and uh, fingers and toes crossed. We can trip one of them big girls yeah, up. Hopefully I don't get too soaked in the process, but um, I'm going to try my hardest to get a few fish for you guys and uh, run you run you how I go about doing it again. And uh, I've, got, I've got a load of bait with me. I'm on the urban baits, fully loaded, 15 millimeter. Um, sorry, 14 millimeter. And I've got a bag of the the mixed Trent View house pellet. So we've got plenty of bait with us. I'll run you throughout the episode how I go about it. And uh, yeah. I can't wait to get going, man. I'm absolutely buzzing. Like I say I love fishing in uh, in weather like this, where it's absolutely pissing it down. I'm in Peg 13 on the railway bank, and it's a good bank this time of year. We've got a new bit of kit with me, a new bait boat that I've bought, so I'm going to be testing that out to the max. And uh, fingers crossed, it can land a few of these um, good fish for us. But yeah, like I say, I'm I'm really going for one or two bites this session. I'm not looking for a big hit because it's been cold. So hopefully, I just get that one bite, and it's going to be a good fish. So. Without further ado, we're going to get set up. I've got two rods pretty much ready to go out, but I've got to respool one of them. So we're going to get that done now, and uh, hope this hopefully this rain doesn't come down too hard and get me too soaked um, on the first uh, few hours of the session. So yeah, without further ado, let's get cracking. But stay with us, and hopefully it's going to be lit. First things first, sorry about the drain, I'll wait a minute. But yeah man, first things first, is finding a spot that we can fish, so just a simple lead marker float, which is the cord wrestle R. And uh, I never never opt to fish the, uh, throw the deep right, it's always old school first, because I just like to feel the what's on down there, weed, what have you. I have managed to get a rod out yet. I've uh, found a nice clear spot. I've got a few casts around it, about 75 to 90 yards roughly. I uh, clipped it up, had a few casts and found a few specks of gravel as well out there, which was unexpected to be honest. And uh, that's pr pretty much the first swim that I've found gravel, but I have, looking back through the records, the first fish I ever caught out of Trent View, which was about four years ago I think now. I'll have to clarify and look back through it again, but. I'll drop a picture of that right now. Uh, but yeah, that, that scaly mirror there um, is the first fish I actually caught out of this, this lake. So, and it was out of this very peg. And I can, I think I can recall fishing three, three rods on a spot in the pissing down rain, as you can see from the picture and uh, it was only about 15 pound I think but it was the middle rod and uh, yeah it was, off a, it was just before the band particle so I was using um, like a particle mixed with corn in it and I was using fake fake corn it was before the band or fake rakes and stuff like that and um, it had pretty much just just opened um, but yeah 
It's, uh, it's changed its peg surprisingly, but I thought I recognised it, but yeah, um, I'm just about to get that left hand rod out now, and um, I'm going to put one at about 70 yard, one at about 85, and other at about 110, something like that, but I'm not really confident uh, taking the new bait belt out in the rain, but uh, hey ho, we'll give it a go, I think it should be alright though. Famous fucking last words there. God, here we go. Let's get a rod out. Come on. There she is. The new vessel. You might be thinking, what a load of shite. But trust me. It is the best piece of kit for the money I have ever bought. 100 quid off eBay. As you can see, I've gone for the house pellet again. And, um, yeah, man, I've gone for the mixed bag. As you can see, we've got loads of different sizes in there. You've got your 17s, your big boys. Yeah, I think there's 12s, 8s, 6s, and then some 4s, I think. What I'm going to do with them is just give them a drench of the old hemp oil. Good dousing. Not too much though, I don't want them absolutely sopping. Because obviously it'll probably start to break out. Already nicely glazed up. And that is carpy. Goodness. Check that out. And that'll just get better and better. But it just gives you a bit more attraction to them pellets. Obviously, you can't use particle in here, so that's the best thing we can we can do. Let's get it out. That's all three rods out on the dance floor now, lads. And as you can see, I'm absolutely soaked to the bone. Yeah, could dry out off in the car for a bit, I think. Because, uh, yeah. No good. So, yeah. Let's get dried off, man. Hopefully, one of them rattles off. Just drop that one short, to be fair. Uh, probably about 30 yard out. And then I've got them other two up, uh, out there, like. So, uh, we'll see how it goes. But uh, for now, that'll do. So, yeah, I'm happy with them. Hopefully not long. Hopefully it will worth getting piss wet through for an all. <sighs> well, I don't know how well you can see me because the lens is absolutely misted up to nines. But yeah, I've just lost a fish. Middle rod while I was sat in car, trying to dry out. Ah, Pre-tied rig I bought, man, and that heli safe set up that last time. When I fished it last time, I had a, a five and a half inch boom to a Ronnie rig, bottom bait wafter, up pull. So yeah, I've got another rig, um, it's the Darrell Peck rig, the like combi rig. Oh, Paul. But yeah, I'm going to give that rig another go, put it out, back, back out, I'm absolutely pissed off. Um, yeah, pissed off, but they're, they're there. I've, I've seen a fish show. Yeah, we're going to get that bait belt back out and uh, hopefully, obviously the, the pellet and, and the baits worked. So I'm going to get that back out, that one on a white Nash wafter cut down to look like a little white pellet so um damn could have had a fish man but yeah get that rod back out and hopefully it's a, a sign of good things but yeah unlucky peg number 13 boys here we go we are answering no more fish show or anything like that but to be honest i've just been in the car really chilling but uh, hopefully it's not long till one rips off again middle rod like i said previous that that bite that i got got 
in the swim what middle rod and in that session I lost the first fish but um, yeah I got the second fish in so yeah hopefully it's not long looks pucker out there man it's absolutely freezing but yeah looks carpy I ain't like I say hopefully they, they come around tonight but what I'm going to do soon is uh, in about 10 minutes time just going to chill for another 10 minutes and then I'm going to reposition all the rods all three of them with bait boat and put another thing of um, bait out with them and uh, that's me for tonight so yeah hopefully that works and uh, next time you see me I've got one in my hands I'm in cheese toasty no else to report hopefully tonight is the night mm, time we are now it's about half past seven now and uh, nothing else but apart from that lost fish unfortunately but hopefully we get a redemption fish before long. Come on. Guys, uh, yeah, not a lot for me to report. It's about half past seven now in the morning, and uh, I haven't had a bleep since losing that fish. So I've uh, set the alarm this morning. It's half past seven. What I'm gonna do is get the kettle on and uh, yeah, re-drop these rods. So yeah, let's get sorted. First things first, pull up the deeper up. I've attached the deeper to the boat just with a trace, simple trace. And get that to the right of that. Put that up there. On that side. So rigging first. Load of the house pellet tramp view. Hook bait on this one, as you can, as you saw, it was just an 18 millimeter fully loaded, 18 mil cut down, just to look like a like a pellet, like such. Get that filled up. 19 foot out there, absolutely clean bottom, and it's not scanning any fish up whatsoever, which is not the best. Happy days. Mm. 
Well, I've just had a fish show right over my left hand rod, um, which I've dropped with the boat about probably an hour since. And that's the first sign of activity since yesterday. So, yeah, I'm going to give it another hour, I think, and uh, get reeled in, go to the shop real quick, and uh, get them rods back out on the money. Come on. Round. Don't lose it, Bobby. On bottom, yeah? Uh, no hook and all, so. Is it? Freshen? Is this the one that you had that 26 on? No. RG, I think it's. RG, see? See? RG. Uh, quite like this. RG. Uh, Wait. Oh. Or rather, as dogs should say it, RG. Oh. Well, RG, watch this, boys. Proper, proper bait team here. Look. Look. Here, look at this. Eye it up. Urban for <laughs> 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 That's it, urban, it's like sort of, sort of grotting about, isn't it? <laughs> Up pulled, unfortunately. Stick with the guns. I've just re-dropped the baits. Um, ordered a Chinese rubber. Uh, hopefully, uh, it pays off, and uh, I, I get that big one that I'm after. Because um, I got one uh, yesterday as soon as I got here, like I say, and uh, it felt a good fish. So uh, it'd be stupid to change. Just to hoping for that for that one bite tonight, and it'd be a good one. So yeah, without further ado, anyway, we're gonna get that Chinese picked up get that smashed in so I'm absolutely buzzing for that I'm absolutely starving well good morning guys we're literally just packed away now basically packed away we've got literally just to spin you around as you can see most of the stuff is up at car and yeah middle rod man dropped it last night with boat about 90 yard out um, on a spot that I've been fishing most at weekend in between two markers that I've gone real and yeah it's just steadily ripped off it fought like an absolute monster man looks like a, a low 20 got a nice back on him it's nice to have one just before we go in because we've been struggling man I've just dropped these two left and right in real close this morning left that middle rod out and that's the one that's gone it's about 10 to 12 now um, on the Sunday and uh, yeah I'm gonna get this fish sorted show you guys get a weight of him and that giving him a breather at the minute I put up a right battle on from out there I thought it were a lot bigger than what it was but yeah man just happy to have one yeah. well happy days before I'm packing up to go home middle rod's gone uh, that one I lost a fish on just slightly changed rig to what I was catching on last time which was the just a fluorocarbon D rig and yeah, we've got a nice, pretty tramp view mirror in the net, as fat as a pig. But yeah, man, tech him, the only fish of the session by the looks. Uh, we lost that one right at the start, and it's been quite hard, to be honest. I've stuck it out, and I've stuck to my EM tactics, and uh, luckily, it's paid off. Uh, 23 pounds, six ounce. So yeah, a nice, uh, nice fish said it were low 20s fought like a dog thought it were a lot bigger than what it was but yeah but I hope that looks nice in that, that, that early afternoon sun but yeah man buzzing took a little orange fluoro northern special dumbbell wafter 
um, drop with the bait boat. So yeah, man, happy days. Let's quickly show you the other side. Being a good girl. Bit more water on it. Until she's been munching, fat as a pig. Happy days. What a lovely fish, man. Buzzing with that. Let's get a couple of snaps and uh, yeah, get off, I think, get to that pub. Just noticed there's a little bit of damage to his tail, so we're going to treat that now and get her back. And that is basically the rig I fished these past two episodes and I did so well in that last episode, not so well this episode but I thought why not put the rig on that were working uh, the last time I were here and yeah it's done me a fish luckily just before we're going home so yeah happy days and the only difference was last last time I was using the fully loaded um, but I obviously tried them at the start of the session and no no go so I've opted to switch to the Northern Special and it's done me a fish. So yeah, happy days man. We're going to get all this packed away now and get off. Well guys, that's it. We've come to the end of the episode now. I really hope you've enjoyed this little clip. This little um, episode that I've put together for you. Um, episode 5 of my um, day ticket carp fishing vlogs. And uh, I think next carp fishing season I'm going to switch it up a bit. And uh, maybe select a couple more different venues to fish. Um, it's been a good start to the year. Um, well, a good start to the vlog series, and I hope that you guys have been enjoying it. But yeah, for me, I think the catfishing season is uh, over for now. Yeah, I think I'm going to focus mainly on the predators now. Um, I've got a few challenges I've set myself. Uh, I've just had a four pound perch off the off of one of the rivers clo local to me. Yeah, I've set myself some challenges this year. One of which is catching a three pound plus on a lure. Um, second of which a double figure zander, and third. A 20 pound plus pike so yeah they're my three predator challenges for this this winter hopefully i'm gonna bring you guys along with me for the journey and uh, we can get into some of these big mammas some of these big tooth mammas so yeah stay with me and hopefully that's going to be a good challenge for us to watch them and, and go through together but yeah until that next episode i'll see you in the next one so yeah thanks for watching i'll see you later df out <laughs>